So, this is the Anita Mark 12 calculator. It uses 12 Nixie tubes. One on the right is always zero. They use the card to store numbers for internal use, but they don't display um, the digit there. Um, the left is uh, used by the calculator to uh, calculate uh, certain values. And the middle 10, you can fill in by the keyboard um, with, with the digits uh, you want. There are also 10 decimal points. And the decimal points is, is a bit strange because the previous machine, the Mark 8, had 1 to 11 decimal points. And this is the head of the of Mark 12. And you can see it has 1 to 10. They filled it up. So they really didn't want um, 11 points, but 10. And I can explain why. The decimal points are connected to a number card, just the same as where the next is on. Um, so it's a bit cheaper to use the same cards. You don't need um, to design an extra card for that. But it has an other advantage too. The machine has um, two memories for um, the, the numbers in the Nixies and also the decimal point. That makes 11 uh, digits. This one is always zero, so it's not important to store that one in memory. So it's 11 digits plus one uh, number for the decimal point. And if you look in the machine, there are 24 memory cards. They're all the same. So they could use the same card for numbers and for the decimal point. So it's, it's quite effective um, way of designing. The Anita Mark 8, the previous machine, um, in that machine they used very much trigger tubes. About 170 or 180 of these trigger tubes are connected on each number card. They're connected as a ring counter. So every pulse, a next neon will light up and go back. It goes round. When you reset a Mark 8, the number goes to zero and your pulses, um, your clock pulses in and when it's at the nine and goes back to zero, it carries out a pulse, a carry pulse. That is the only way for the machine to know what was in uh, the number card. The Mark 12, well you can see no trigger tubes on it, but there are transistors in groups of two. They are flip-flops. A flip-flop has two states, one transistor conducting and the other one not. Or the opposite way, this one conducting and that one doesn't. It makes two states. If you have another set of transistors, you have two states times two states is four states. Well, add another two transistors, four states times two states is eight states. Well, it is still isn't enough to store zero to nine. So 
at another two transistors. And you have 8 times 2 is 16 possibilities to store a number in the card. What I do in the Mark 12 is reset to zero. And when they are pulsing the number in, let's say three pulses, the Nixie tube will give a three. Um, if the machine is adding, like um, uh, adding seven to it, it will count to nine and then go back to zero because it can't go to ten and it carries out a pulse used for um, the next uh, module and that carry output is stored in one of the carry store cards in the machine. Well, using eight transistors to uh, store the, the, the number in um, doesn't display the number, so they use 10 transistors to drive the Nixie tube. It's like a, um, a binary to uh, decimal um, converter. If we look at the memory cards in the back of the machine, you see uh, again these sets of two transistors making 16 uh, possibilities, but after uh, the 9 pills it goes back to zero and also gives a carry out. So the machine doesn't know what number is in the card. Again, say it's reset to zero and you clock in three pulses, then the number is three. Then the machine, if it wants to know what, uh, what's inside the card, it adds pulses as long as it doesn't see a carry. And when it sees a carry, okay, I've added seven to output that carry, subtract it from the 10 states and you get 3 as uh, the original uh, value of the card. Like I said, um, if you want to know what's in the card, you have to clock in uh, a different amount of pulses than the real value in it. So they used a buffer card to store temporary um, numbers between the memory cards and the register cards. As you can see, it's really a hybrid machine. It's probably the last model um, calculator which uses diodes, transistors and tubes. Inside the machine, you can see logic boards here. Those are uh, many diodes and a few transistors making DTL diode transistor logic. Those are the trigger tubes which also were used in the Mark 8. Underneath there you can also see the trigger tubes. This trigger tubes keeps in track where your number is. So I when I fill in one number there you can see one skipping another one another one. So that keeps in track where the next number will be entered. The decatron here in the corner of the machine um, is used to scan the keyboard. 
if you press a number the machine and the Decatron waits uh, until you release your button and then it goes further. The Anita Mark 12 is a four function uh, machine and what I said it has two memories. Um, you can clear the machine to see the registers. This is to select memory three. Uh, sorry, memory two. This is memory three. If I want to add numbers in memory two, let's say put in all twos. Um, the now twos in the memory and. If I use this button, the memory 2 is swapped with the registers. So now I got the 2's back. So let's say I put 1's in that register. I want to see what's in memory. Okay, I know what's in memory back to my display. Also for the other memory 3, I can put in 3's. So, in memory 3, what's inside memory 3? Oh, there's 3's. What's in memory 2? Oh, there are 2's. Um, calculating, it's, it's a bit different than the, the modern machines. Um, let's say um, you want uh, a number 65. And you want to add, let's say, 50 to it. Um, you put that um, uh, number in memory. What did we say? Uh, 55. If I want to add the 55 to the uh, 65 in the memory, I press add and check the memory and that makes 120. Subtracting is more or less the same way. Let's put in 90 in memory. I want to subtract 23, whatever. Um, where am I? Subtract. Check my memory. And it's 67. When we want to multiply, um, we have also uh, to add, let's say, 30 in the memory. Um, let's uh, multiply it by 5. It makes 150. And you see this number is showing up directly. The fission. Um, you have to put the, the, the number which you use to um, divide to uh, first in the memory, let's say 3. Um, say you want to uh, divide 45 by 3. 3 is in memory, 45 is in your register. And that makes 15. So well, that's the base of um, of the Mark 12 calculator. In the back of the Mark 12 is just like in the Mark 8 a, a constant uh, voltage transformer to um, stabilize the, the, the voltage of it. And in the back are also two 1287 tubes. Um, those tubes are double uh, triodes. Um, two of the triads are used to um, step those um, trigger tube uh, timers. One um, triad is used for the uh, 4 kilohertz uh, oscillator. And one of the triads is not used in the machine. So well, that's it.